Good morning everybody. This one's a little bit different. Um, not sure how this one's going to get go down. However, I began when I was going down the rabbit hole of the internet and things like that. One particular thing that did grip my attention was the Johnny Depp Amber Heard defamation trial. I found that really quite gripping and a useful distraction from well, life, all the worries of life. And then I put, you, if you've seen my video from a, a few times ago, I said that I'd put all that down now and I'd stopped um, trawling the internet. And then last night, I was searching on YouTube for an answer to a gardening question I had and up popped these um, oh, lots of shorts. I guess the algorithm remembered that I did quite a lot of watching on this issue. Um, and I watched a couple of shorts and stuff and, and then um, so it went to bed. I've woken up this morning, I've been teaching and then bam, I get um, a message to just do an ad hoc Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial reading. So I don't really want to do this sort of is he going to win, is she going to win kind of thing. So I want to pull four cards similar to the one, similar to the spread I did yesterday, the love reading yesterday. Just want to pull four cards. Uh, for each, uh, for each of them. My observation of this is actually, my own personal ob observation of this is that these are two very wounded individuals who appear to be tearing each other apart in different ways. I don't know what the motive is for this. I don't know what's been going on. I have a sense of what seems to be incredibly unfair, but I also have a sense that there are, these are two very damaged individuals. And their life right now is being played out totally in public. And I do have quite a lot of empathy for that. Um, everybody's dirty laundry is being dragged through the the courts and reported everywhere and um, it seems quite it's harsh it's actually quite harsh but I, I understand that there is you know there's reasoning behind why um, it's got to this right okay one just a second, I've dropped them. No, oh, two, three, one more. Oh, and one more. So, what do we have here? So, which one's first? Which one's first? Okay, so we're looking at Johnny Depp first. So what is going on right now? What is the now picture for, no, not now, not now. Okay, what is the past? What was the past situation that has led Johnny Depp into the situation that he is currently in? Which one's first? What's the past card, please? That one. So we have the Nine of Swords. And as it's in the past position, 
this is past anxiety and worries and feelings of maybe unworthiness that has followed him all his life. There are this trauma here. There is trauma here. This is mental trauma. Now I don't know about Johnny Depp's past life. I have heard that um, possibly his, his mother was abusive but I haven't watched any of that so I don't know and I haven't really been glued to it. So this is a sense that from childhood there has been some emotional mental trauma that Johnny Depp has endured that has followed him throughout his life. This isn't minor stuff here we're talking about. This is actually quite... This is actually quite m major stuff. And I'm feeling really uneasy in my... In my in my solar plexus right there's a huge knock of confidence here it feels hugely disappointing and sad so what the Johnny Depp if that's his real name the Johnny Depp of the past has been has suffered from a prolonged period of emotional trauma through his childhood and that emotional trauma has followed him in waves throughout his life and is, is still a very big part of who he is. Um, how how that formed his personality and the difficulties that he faces and the triumphs that he enjoys. Swords are about mental, your mental realm. A lot of this is a head, he's, he's being head fucked basically. That's his past card. What's the next one? The next one will be now. one what's this one you've got the devil but the devil is in reverse the devil in the upright describes an issue with a to with toxic relation a toxic relationship or plural toxic relationship and addiction this is in reverse so we're looking at first how do I explain first of all if you look at the devil these two people are tied to the devil. It could be an addiction, they could be addicted to one another, they could be addicted to some sort of substance or some sort of behaviour, let's say. But if you look at the chains around their necks, they are only loosely tied and they could easily step out of this cycle of addiction or going from one toxic relationship to other or by surrounding yourself with toxic people because you don't feel enough in reverse this is telling me it's it's this i am getting breakthrough there's a breakthrough now either johnny depp has decided that he's had enough of toxic relationships and overindulging, overindulging in drugs and alcohol. Whether he's already on some sort of sobriety program right now, I don't know. But 
this is clearly within his mentality right now. And I believe that he is on the verge of a breakthrough. Now, breakthrough doesn't necessarily mean everything in the garden's rosy. Sometimes you have to be on your arse to break through. So maybe, I mean, all the stuff that's coming out in court, all these private, personal details that are coming out in court could well be the catalyst for the breakthrough, if indeed he hasn't already broken through or is coming through the other side so that's his second card so in the past toxic relationship now some sort of breakthrough from addiction um, from being tied to toxic people and toxic relationships and the next one is a card for future six months the next six months we have the three of wands in reverse right next six months there will be obstacles in his way there will be things preventing him from moving forward. And as we are, as I am specifically asking about this court case, I'm hearing that this is not the end. So whichever way it goes, I don't know, I can't tell you. Whichever way it goes, it's going to go on. There will be more of this to come. This will not be the end when this court case ends. It's like it's this perpetual cycle of baiting. It's going to continue at least for the next six months. It's quite sad. And the last card is future and we have the outcome, temperance. So although for Johnny Depp right now, this is a very turbulent time emotionally and he does have issues of his, his own that are no, it's not easy to break through that kind of cycle. It's not easy at all. He will need support. He will need support from people who are there for him and not toxic people who on the surface look like they are for him, but they're not. He will need to live life in moderation. I'm hearing all things in moderation. Slow down a little bit. The fast life needs to slow down a little bit. If he continues to drink and take drugs, he needs to dial it back a bit and moderate his in intake of this kind of thing. Surround himself by people who genuinely love and care for him and want to help. And I'm feeling some sort of spiritual connection coming in here to hold his hand. So although though these four cards don't tell us what's happening in court and what's going to happen in court, what we're getting is his issues have come from childhood. He is breaking the chains of past addictions and toxic relationships. He's heading towards a breakthrough. There will be roadblocks. There will be stumbling blocks in the way. But there is healing, moderation, and a spiritual helper coming in here. Someone who is has tried and tested and has come out the other side with some spiritual clarity and calm. Calm. Someone something, an organisation, 
is coming in with genuine, genuine offers of help. Now let's have a look. Amber Heard. Four cards, please, for Amber Heard. What's the deal with Amber? Let's have a look for four cards. I want past. I want now. Card for now. I want a future card for the next six months. And I would like um, an outcome card, please. Can I have one for the past? Nope. Okay, past. The past is Amber, past, death in reverse. Death this way around signifies an ending, and endings signifies signify the start of something new as this is in reverse amber's past this she's coming from a place where it ain't over until she says it's over and now i'm feeling really agitated and um defiant I'm feeling really defiant why am I feeling defiant am I taking on these feelings right now this is someone who cannot has learned to not let go of stuff she's been hanging on to old shit for years this is where she comes from where Johnny comes from the mental torment and trauma Amber comes from a place of defiance and unwillingness to let go it's almost like this is it's this is feeling very competitive and unwilling to admit defeat maybe she's always been quite a defiant child and never accepted defeat and she's never learnt to lose anything this is very non-accepting um, but this is where Amber's past comes from can I have a now card please and we have, okay, just let me get them to one side. We have the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles. The Now card. What's driving the Now? I'm wanting to say that what's driving what's dry I'm wanting to say what's driving the now is new is money it's material things what the drive here what's now is happening is this um, um quest for money but in order to receive this money I believe that Amber Heard is going to have to accept some responsibility for that it's about money this is about money and responsibility Right now, 
I have the feeling that Amber Heard is being advised to take responsibility for something in order to limit the damage. Damage to herself and also Johnny Depp. I'm feeling damage limitation here. She's been urged to do some damage limitation. But I am feeling very defiant. And then we have another one. We have the fool in reverse. The fool in the upright is a young, naive person who is stepping out in life full of wonder and awe about life. Amber gets her future six months card. It's not a new journey. It's not a new journey because there's some defiance here. But I think in the next six months, she will be very badly advised. She's going to be very badly advised. And there's this, this feeling of, we've got this death in reverse and the fool in reverse. Death symbolises the start of something new. The fool is a new journey. This has halted. It feels as though Amber is, is not going to let go of any of this easily. This is going to go round and round and round and round and round while ever she has an opportunity to perpetuate I think there will be another court case. I think there will be another court case after this. I think this, right now I'm hearing what they said, what was it now? Um, something when they, when they got married, something about till death or something. I think this is very much in her psyche that this is going to be a, a battle till death. Now, whether that's, that won't be physical death, I'm sure. But I think it will be the ruination of one of them. And I'll, as they're going right now, I feel like they both will be destroyed. If, the, if someone doesn't, I think Amber needs to do some damage limitation. And the next card is Hierophant. Outcome, Hierophant. The Hierophant is traditionally... Um, the Pope, um, law and order, teachers, institutions. The outcome of this will be decided in, in law, as we know it will be decided in law. So I'm wondering whether there will be, there is some sense here that this is just going to keep going on and on and on and on and on. And it's not going to stop. They're going to be in court every two minutes. And I'm wondering whether there will be something put into the settlement or the, the final verdict that this is the last and final time that the court will hear. I wonder if the judge will put something in to prevent another court case of the same nature, going over the same evidence um, and bringing in more evidence because I believe there will be. I, I believe that this isn't going to, this isn't going to stop until one or the other either surrenders or 
one or the other of them is totally ruined. It's very toxic. So I'm going to do a Wisdom of the Oracle card. I'm going to do one for Johnny and one for Amber. And then I'm going to leave it there. both very traumatised by life and they've both come together and clashed enormously because they're both of their personalities as a result of that trauma is very different. Okay, so for Johnny we have three have come out, so these three come out, so I'm trying to for Johnny we have one message in a bottle number 15 so just find number 15 message in a bottle number 15 message in a bottle spirit sends you signs when you ask for them when you believe you will receive them and when you allow yourself to become fluent in the language of symbols oracles and omens they may come to you as a bird flying by, on a logo, on a truck, and a song on the radio. Expect confirmation that you're pointed in the right direction. Keep your ears open, for someone might say just the right thing that will give you the answer to your query. Today, your message is this. Spirit hears you, and the reply is favourable. You can expect someone to favour you with positive news. This could be in the form of a letter, phone call or email. You are the intended receiver of this message, so stay open to what you learn. Only good will come of it in the end. The signs are all there. You are on target with your purpose and your passion. You are coming into alignment with your destiny and spirit wants you to know that you are on the right track. Expect a call, a new opportunity, or a message from an old friend or business contract contact that will lead you closer to your dreams and greatest desires. Spirit has been listening to you. Wow, so that is very positive. So Johnny's Oracle card, advice card, is keep your eyes and your ears open because something will be coming into your to your favour it could be an email a message a telephone call it could even mean a surprise witness that's been dragged up from somewhere that can shed light on the situation um that's very favourable so but spirit is at the back of him Whether or not he is open to that, I don't know. But spirit is at the back of him, he, but cheering him on. As we all have spirit guys cheer, cheering us on, regardless of what kind of human being we are being. But this is um, very positive. So let's have a look at the, which one's the amber card? Amber card. This one. Chaos and Conflict, number 33. So let's have a look. Chaos and Conflict. Where are we? <clears throat> Chaos and Conflict. Sorry, I was just looking at the card. Opening forces come together to create a turbulent atmosphere. But consider the value of chaos that serves you well. As you become unmoored by it, scattered to the winds, you leave behind the parts of yourself you no, long, no longer need and disperse seeds to reinvent yourself anew. <clears throat> 
Although the conflict appears to exist externally, its essence is also internal, projected outwards and causing disarray. You may find yourself at, a cro at cross purposes with someone else, facing a storm you feel you can't control. Yet every storm passes and chaos leads to the recording, reordering of things. Conflict provides a way to see more than one side of a situation. Look upon this as just a moment in time when you may need to take shelter and step away from the fray. Don't be too eager to fight. This is a time to understand rather than to be understood. Stubbornness is keeping you in a state of opposition. What did I say about this devil card and the um, the devil refusing to let, uh, not the devil, the death card refusing to let go, feeling indignant and... Yeah, but this is Im this is important. It's saying that the conflict appears to exist externally. Its essence is also internal. So let's not forget that no matter how bad Amber Heard makes her look on the on the outside, there is a lot of internal conflict going in there right now. Um, a lot of internal conflict. They both have internal conflict. They're just being played out in different ways. Um, the incessant need to be right will only serve to prolong the conflict, and that, that deep and that that the conflict that deep down you want to be resolved. And I also said I think she's going to keep going because it's not over until she says it is. But she really wants it resolving, but she's also got this ego that wants her to win all the time. This is an opportune moment to learn about your values, your sense of self, what's really important to you. Hang on, Paige. Come on, Paige. Some things are non-negotiable. If that's true, it's not necessary to fight. Can you find a way through the stormy emotions to higher ground? Soon the air will clear and you will be in a much better place than before, for the storm will have passed, blazing a path for new growth in its wake. Things can become electric and enlightened, always better than before, if you use this time constructively. So, depending on what Amber Heard decides to do, whether she decides to take some responsibility outwardly and decide that once this court case is over with, that is going to be it. They both need to decide that, by the way. Otherwise, I can see this going on for years and years. Um... But the, my feeling is that um, as soon as she decides that that's enough, then that would be that would would be it. Then it, it, I believe I don't believe Johnny Depp is out there to absolutely um, distinguish and Amber Heard's and Amber Heard from the planet. He just wants his reputation back. He wants the truth to be told. I'm not saying she's an out and out liar, but there are anomalies and those anomalies and the things that have come out are in defiance. They've come out with an air of defiance. So this last card is serendipity in reverse. I'm showing it you in the upright number 18. In reverse, serendipity, in reverse. In reverse, serendipity, the protection message. I'll show it you in the upright. Perhaps you felt almost certain that serendipitous events were meant to lead to something better. It was supposed to be the perfect business or that person you gave your heart to was supposed to be the one. Yet it all fell apart. Consider this. Sometimes synchronicity and serendipity come together 
to lead you directly into difficulties in order to deliver an important lesson you need to learn before you hit the jackpot. Don't get caught up in the drama of disappointment. There really is a silver lining in this cloud. Spirit always knows what you need and is guiding you to where you are meant to go. Pay attention to the signs present, presented to you. Consider this. If Amber Heard and Johnny Depp were meant to get together, to have this horrendous relationship to be played out in the public eye, the eyes of the world, um, and on the surface looks like it is destroying them both, then maybe consider this, maybe this has to happen in order for um, the, the pair of them to be on their asses enough to heal their traumas of the past. Because many people don't heal until they have no fucking choice. I wish them both all the best. I wish them peace in their hearts and in their minds. And I wish them healing. It's very sad to see how public, how publicly people can destroy each other. We need to turn that around, folks, don't we? We all have somebody like that in our lives, or we can all remember somebody like that in our in our lives. It's time for a bit more compassion. Take it easy. See you soon.